Hey everybody, my partners at DeWalt sent me over their Tough System 2.0 DXL storage system. And I'm going to show you just like how to put it together. This is actually my first time putting it together. Showed up on a pallet. I took it out of the box and this is this is what showed up right here. These three drawer units with the dolly and then the top. And I'm just going to put it together. This is my first time putting it together. So what I found was it clicked right into the dolly really easily and then it fastened it fastened itself down using the connect latches now each unit connects to this basically the same way using those latches you just hook them in the back you it hooks in the back and then it latches itself in the front almost automatically after you get it hooked now you could you could stack these drawers any way you want I just this just happens to be the way I put it together with the two deep drawers on the top and then the smaller drawers on the bottom but you could miss you could match them any way you want the dolly i felt was was really uh, heavy duty and rugged i liked how big the wheels were it rolled really nice and then the top is uh just just a really you know nice unit nice flat surface it's got a couple cup holders on it it's got a really small uh like drawer or shelf there you could put some small stuff in if you wanted to the drawers open really smoothly. Now these are the inserts it comes with. Um, five removable dividers. So you can decide to use these or not. I'm going to just kind of show you how I snapped them together really quick. You don't need, need any tools for this. They basically go one way. That little groove that snaps right into the groove in the drawer. And then it gives you kind of multiple options how you want to set it up. Pretty basic and simple. And they felt like they held in place, you know, pretty good. And then I'll show you here in a minute just kind of what I did for putting tools in here. Just to give you an idea of just how many tools this, this can hold. But I thought they went in really easily. This one I already had done. And then the small one, you know, we're going to do basically the same way. Just the... The lat... Um, the dividers are quite a bit smaller, that's all, because it's about two inches tall, I'd say, that drawer right there. So pretty basic instructions for putting this together. Um, pretty simple, I thought. I had it all together. I had it out of the box and all together like this in you know just a matter of minutes basically as you can tell i think we're under three minutes right now probably took me a minute to get it out of the crate <laughs> off the pallet and out of the crate and then that's about as simple as it goes and then you know to take it apart take those just undo the latches pull it off the top and i'm going to just show you how you can switch a drawer here really quick if you wanted to just switch places I'm going to just switch the top two. You could, if you wanted the small drawers on top, you know, you just take them all off. They hook onto the dolly the exact same way. They got really nice aluminum handles too for kind of moving them around. I, I felt like those were really rugged. And then the sides also have like a, a metal rack so you can ha actually hang tools off the side if you wanted to using those metal racks. There, that's it. All locked together again, put the top back on, and you're back in business right there. Pushes around real easily. So here I am. I went and loaded up with some tools just show you what I what I ended up putting in here a lot of these tools are in my truck too so you could have a, a good selection of tools in the garage and then if you get a truck like mine you can just throw them in the truck also but so I got the circular saw the seven inch I got the four and a half inch circular saw and then the cordless ratchet tool on top you know the palm sander the four and a half inch grinder the multi tool the sawzall plenty of batteries in a charger in the first drawer and then the second drawer as you can see, I got it all listed out. I got the SDS hammer drill, a half-inch hammer drill, a 3H drive drill, my impact driver, 
my safety, you know, my earmuffs, a cutoff saw, and definitely more batteries. <laughs> definitely will hold a lot of batteries, you know. And then, again, you can read the list in there. Safety glasses, cordless screwdriver, tape measures, utility knives, chalk lines, just, just stapler, work gloves, more batteries, just multiple different things you could store in here and have it, you know, in your garage, nice and handy whenever you needed it. But the batteries are the key. You need batteries to run all this stuff. So, you know, make sure you order plenty of batteries. The battery with that fast charger too, that, that charges batteries up in less than half the time as a regular charger. The yellow one, the yellow, and it's got to say fast charger on it, but we use the fast chargers all the time. Especially with the, uh, you know, we got 9 amp batteries, we got 15 amp batteries, got a lot of 6 amp batteries. So, when you know, when you got those bigger batteries and you're using, you know, let's say hand grinders or the circular saws or stuff and you, you need to charge them up pretty quick, that yellow fast charger is really the way to go. I thought, I thought the drawers slide back and forth really nice. So this is a pretty cool unit. I definitely recommend checking it out. You know, I'll have a link for it down in the description if you want to check it out. The the dolly does lock just like that really easily. And then you just, you know, you can use your foot and just flick those tabs back up to unlock it. Here's a little bit of information they sent with it if you just want to, you know, pause the video and, and check out the information. But kind of tells you and shows you the different ways you can utilize using this Tough System 2.0 DXL. And I'm going to roll it off. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.